hey guys so today I am definitely giving you a story time I know lately my channel has been all over the place and I after watching a new youtubers channel and she was talking about how well she's not new she's new to, to me she was talking about how she grew her channel and number one key was staying true to her roots so I'm sorry you guys I have been doing hauls I have been doing chit chats I have been talking about work I've been doing family life and I have not given you guys a story time in a while so let's get at it um if you're new to my channel and you enjoy story times um as i mentioned chit chats or hauls or um tea chit chats whatever um family content then definitely you should consider bump the kids uh, consider <laughs> you should definitely just push that button subscribe i'm cool you're cool you will definitely fit up in here secondly you should go ahead on and like this video i know you haven't really watched the video yet but it's going to be a story time and <laughs> your girl is typically good at that um thirdly you should leave me a comment uh, i always respond to my comments maybe not very rapidly but i do and i definitely support whoever supports me so i know many of you if you're not new to my channel um they have to forgive me i'm like doing other things at the same time so um but this is like the quietest moment at my job so i was like let me film right now or record right now so you guys know that i'm leaving my job and i've gotten a new job i'm going to now be officially a security officer have to pop my collar on that <laughs> but um the reason i'm leaving this job it's not personal like i don't have something against my manager are there things that i don't like that maybe my manager might do yes and that's part of the reason why i'm leaving but it, i mean it's not personal like i don't have a vendetta or there's no hostile feelings between me and him on the other hand definitely <laughs> What y'all talking about? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hola, Dora. <laughs> See, happy Friday. <laughs> it's not Friday, it's Monday. So anyways, I will miss them for real. But anyways, so I had this job when I was like 16, 17 years old. It was the, the Silver Star Cafe. Now, it was in a federal government building. The only reason I got this job because otherwise I would have never known about this job is I was in a program that helps youth to find um, good careers. And so when I first got the job on the first day, I knew nothing about what I'd be doing. No position. I just came straight there. They gave me a dress code. And so, you know, I came in with my slacks and stuff and I met the owner and her eyes were squinky like this. They weren't closed, but they were just like this. And then I realized she had a blind stick. She was blind. Not only was she the manager, but she was the owner. So I was like shook. Like I was like, go girl. <laughs> because I mean, that's like empowerment. I was like, you a strong woman. You know what I'm saying? Like you a strong female out here. So... I was in love with the idea because I also, I have dyslexia. That's how I got in the program. They help young youths, but ones that have disabilities. So it was super cool to meet someone who had such a disability yet did not allow it to stop them. So let's, let's first take a moment for that. Okay. Now that didn't have crap to do with her personality. As I started to get to know her, she was a jerk. Like I said, I was 16, 17 years old. She would make very drastic comments to me, such as, first of all, in her, her cafe, which was a very small cafe. It was like the size of a Starbucks, maybe even smaller. And they had a grill station that would make like fresh fries, burgers, stuff like that. And they had chips, juices, candy, stuff like that. So she didn't have prices on anything. And I confronted her about that because she told me I have to memorize the prices. And I was like, can we just put like prices? Like I can do it for you. 
and she's like no because I have the thing I don't know what you know what I'm talking about but the things that blind people feel that tell them the prices but that's for you what about for your customers and your employees so she was opposed to that she's like no we don't we don't put prices up um, because if something's incorrect I can't visually see it to change it so I'm like okay so in the process of trying to memorize everything I'm not gonna lie I kept forgetting stuff so I would ask her and when I would ask her her in front of the customer she would say stuff like didn't I already tell you that like what's wrong with you you can't comprehend so I let that slide but then one day she accused me of stealing and she's like you're the only one on the register why is the money short come to find out she was counting the tens no she was counting the 20s as tens and actually she had another co-worker who was like family to her who worked on the grill station and she even told her she was like you, you like you need to give her an apology because you were accusing her of stealing and you were miscounting like the money and so she's like no i don't owe her nothing because i have things in an organized order and if you mess up the organized order then how do you expect me to know what's what so it's still her fault okay then she got to a point where she started having me run errands which was not in my job description so she asked me to take her to the doctors the whole time in the cab she complains about everything I do you got to get these prices together you got to start staying later you got to do this and that because you're the only cashier I had it's like you my it was like she was saying I was a a, a supervisor or a lead of something I'm like first of all I'm like 16 17 secondly secondly if you want me to start taking up more responsibility then let's make it easier for both of us not just easy for you like you don't want to put prices you know like if I ask you something you act like you don't want me to ask you like how we going how we gonna work at this not to mention my pay was not the bomb like it was decent I think I was making like ten dollars an hour or something like if you want for the work type of employee she wanted she needed to up the pay too so anyway so she's complaining about everything I do we get out the cab mind you I'm very young we get out the cab and she feels a couple of drops it's like lightly drizzling very lightly drizzling she feels a couple of drops of rain and she's like is it raining and before I can answer she says what's wrong with you why didn't you get my umbrella how was I supposed to know that it was going to rain? So I was like, <laughs> okay, I got you, boo. I got you, boo. I was like, no, it's not raining. So she was like, I felt a couple of drops. So I was like, I don't know what you're feeling, but it's not raining. So <laughs> I know that was wrong, y'all, but at the time it felt so good. So she was like, then what is this I'm feeling? Look. And she comes showing me her own with the like drop of rain. And so I'm like, oh, it is a lot of birds around here. So she like, a bird pooped on me? <laughs> so I'm like, you should get you should clean that up. Like, I'm gonna go get you some tissues. So she's like wiping her arm with tissues and it's just rain. But she thinks it's bird poop. <laughs> so, anyways. The next day, me and her had an argument, and that's when I decided to quit. There was a customer, and he was like a big manager within the building. And he noticed that I had been there for about, oh, I want to say, give or take six, seven weeks, maybe about a, a little over a month and a half. And so he was like, so um, I noticed that you've been here for a little while. You, you seem like you're getting quicker and and really like getting your way. He was like, um, so how is the job? Like, how how do you like it? And before I can answer, she just comes out of nowhere, like out of the back, because her hearing is freaking impeccable. And so she's like, oh no, it's not working out good. I don't know what I was thinking. Ever since I got her, nothing has been working out good. She don't know the prices. And, and she just like starts telling him everything I need to work at better. And she's like, this ain't gonna work for me. I, I thought when I got her, I would have someone a little more experienced. After that, I, like a week later, I wrote my letter of resignation. 
and um like i said excuse me you guys i am doing multiple things at one time <laughs> So I wrote my letter of resignation and I was like, I'm done. Like, so I told her the reason was because I wanted to go to college, which was a lie. I'm, I'm, I was lying. But um, she said, oh, you know, you could work here part time. So I was like, um, no, I just want to focus on my education. So she's like, well, when you graduate until you find a steady job, you could come back. And then she starts like looking like she about to cry that I'm leaving. And see, that's the problem with these people that, um, you know, have authority, these managers, these, these, these CEOs, these, these, these bosses out here, is that they don't appreciate a good thing until it's gone. Even right now, sad to say, like I said, I don't have no personal grudges against my job right now. This is all me looking for a different opportunity away from food, away from the drama. But I don't personally... I can't personally say he's illly treated me like, you know what I'm saying, like how she did. With that being said, still, my manager now, like, he's like, I asked him, could I take off, not take off, I'm sorry, leave a few hours next week. I have an orientation for my new job. He all, I mean, I put in my resignation, resignation last Monday. He knows I'm leaving. Like, I have to do this. And so he's like, well, I don't really have a backup plan yet. I mean, he wind up letting me do it, but I'm just like, I need you to understand I'm not requesting this off. I'm taking this off. Like, at this point in time, my new career has to come before this because I'm leaving this place in less than two weeks. But the new place is the one I'm going to. So I have to leave a good impression with them. Like, at this point in time, like, you come second. You know, sorry to say it like that, but it's true, you know? So... But anyways, I just wanted to give y'all a story time. Okay, moral of the story is that, honestly, for 2019, if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling like you're not appreciated, if it comes to work, if it comes to, to a relationship, if it comes to whatever is going on in your life, your landlord, I don't care who it is, if you feel like it's causing you stress, let it go if you can. Now, I'm not saying quit your job if you ain't got another one. And I'm not saying that if your husband getting on your nerves today, then get a divorce. I ain't saying all that now. But I am saying if you got a boyfriend and, you know, y'all arguing like y'all married, maybe y'all shouldn't be married. If you have, you know what I'm saying, a, a situation at work and it seems like it's the problem is not getting fixed and it's bringing you stress, maybe you should be looking for a new job. If you have a landlord that's a slum landlord, maybe you should get a good one. You know, if your, your, your financial state is is up up to date or whatever should I say if it's if it's there for you to move my point is I want you beautiful people to value yourself and stress is the number one killer so as always ladies just I ain't even do that right hold on just <laughs> stay strong